Hi everybody, welcome to yet another video. So today we're having a little look at the New Tools 4000B and we're pitting that up against the 4400 RP, the SATA setup. Now, those that watch the channel will realise that I, I originally unboxed the 4000B and I was quite struck by how well made it is considering the price it is. And I was under the impression, now I'll, I'll put a quick disclaimer, I didn't realise at the time, my first SATA was in fact the one I'm using here, the 4400, a minigun. And I thought that a SATA 4000 was in fact uh, an earlier version of the 4400, seems rather logical to me. But I'm, I'm not up on my SATAs from the earlier years, I am fully up to date with the modern starters. I've got 5,000, 5,500, this 4,400. So I know the model model sizes, what they do, etc. But as I say, the first time I got my 4,400 was six years ago. And that was my first starter jet. So I hadn't really looked into the model history, etc. So that's a bit of a long way around the saying. I'm, I made a bit of a cock up, really, because... I thought I was comparing like for like, and I, I wasn't at all. So I thought, well, I would carry on the theme because we're working with a 4,400, which is probably universally recognised, and I would probably agree with that as well, of being one of the most fiery miniguns there are. Not my particular favourite, but still quite a fiery minigun. So it has a really big fan and puts out quite a lot of material. Some of that is because Sartager actually... Um, I was going to say cheat, it's the wrong word. They actually uh, stretch their imagination on the sizes of the tip because they say they're 1.2 and they're actually bigger. Uh, and I've got an internal uh, diameter uh, thing that I can drop in the holes now and check the sizes. So I'll start doing that on some of these that I think are, um, you know, not what they say they are. But we're starting what you see here with the Entools 4000. And the Intel 4000, as I say, when I unboxed it, I'll put a link in the description, when I unboxed it, I was rather taken by how well this thing seemed made. It is a copy of a SATA 4000. For those screaming, you know, oh, it's a copy, etc., the pattern on that must have run out years ago, because it's quite an old gun. As I say, I wasn't up to date with the old SATAs. Uh, but all I can say is, is if the, in fact, what it has done is it's given me a bit of a inkling to get a SATA 4000 and try it. Some people say they're better than the 5000s. Some people say they're worse. And, you know, it's it's different. But if it be behaves anything like this gun does, then I want one. You see what we're doing here? We're just spraying a couple of um, car panels. I mainly do bike stuff, so I've got a couple of car panels that I like to use for back-to-back -back things with uh, things like this. So with the Intools 4000, you saw me there shaking my hand. Uh, it does produce quite a lot of overspray. I used it at 2.3 bar, which is around about 30, what's it, about 34 PSI, something like that. Uh, it does produce a fair bit of overspray, as I say, but it does give very, very good results. It's quite a fiery gun, puts out quite a lot of material. Uh, certainly compared to, uh, you know, some of the Devilbis, the uh, T20, etc. It puts out more material than that. Not loads more, but a, a little bit more. And certainly it's similar to the X5500 SATA jets, although not the 5000, which does pump out a lot of material. But as you can see here, it's capable of very, very good results. We're using a U-pole clear coat, which is needs to be put on. It really does need to be put on. And both of these guns are equally capable of doing it, although the, the 4000 will be a bit quicker because it's a, it's a bigger tip. And after all, it's uh, a full-size gun, as we've already established. But one of the things you'll notice with this 4400, which is the SATA, is, is the fan size is nearly the size of the 4000. So it's probably not a sh such a stupid comparison as a, at first 
it, it felt after I realised that the the four thousand wasn't an early version of the four thousand four hundred. So it, it, as I say, I carried on. I carried on with the theme because it, I thought, well, it would be quite good. I haven't done a comparison video putting a mini gun against what is effectively a full size gun, and and it just it just goes to show you that with some of the mini guns and the Sarter is probably the the prime candidate because it's available in a huge number of sizes you can get it down to 0.8 and up to uh, two millimeter tips which in SATA size is probably 2.2 millimeter tips but more of that more of that uh i've I got a, a free a SATA uh 1.3 cc setup for the x 5500 and measuring that it's actually one point uh 1.1 millimeters it's not 1.3 at all it is visibly different to a 1.2 but i will put out a video on that and we'll go into it in much more detail so i haven't measured this one but i would expect it to be about 1.25 maybe even 1.3 although it says 1.2 but it, it doesn't as i say put out as much material as the the 4000 but both of these guns you'll see at the end both of these guns actually give a cracking result the temperature when I did this, it was about 23 Celsius, which is, oh, I'm putting myself on the spot now, it's about 76, 77 Fahrenheit. So in my book, absolutely ideal conditions for spraying. No need for heat lamps, no need for uh, heat guns, etc. I still put a little bit of heat into the clear coat, just helps it run out a bit. But literally, I, I, I normally put it in a microwave. You do see me put it in a microwave on some of my videos. I will say again that you're not supposed to put it in a microwave. But that's what I do. And when the ambient temperature is like this, it's literally, if you've got like 150 milliliters, just five seconds in the microwave, just brings it up to about 34 Celsius, which is about 90 Fahrenheit something like that and, and that's just enough to help it run out a little bit better just helps it go off a bit quicker uh, we haven't got lots to do we're just doing the panel and i mix up the clear coat separately in the case of each to exactly the same consistency just so that we can keep everything as you know as same as same as we can really so that it's a, a viable um way of of comparing the the guns because that's what we're after doing comparing the uh two guns so in a second you'll see the spray out of the 1.2 now this is the 1.2 sr which stands for smart repair as far as i know with sata they do another version as well i think uh this is an rp sr they do another version as well which i think is a slightly bigger fan but the only ones i've ever been able to find all say sr but you'll appreciate that as i as i was saying this gun it's not personally my favorite and that's because of the fan control. I won't go on too much about it because if you look at some of my older videos, I go on about it a lot, probably too much. And I've developed a sort of a, start, a starter grip and you'll see that my thumb just comes away from the gun and it just stops me touching it. And, and to be fair, if I'm doing something like this, something like a, a, a car panel or, or, or car stuff where it's fairly sort of left to right, left to right, or right to left, you know, whichever way you're going, it, it's um there's not much movement involved i i used to do and i haven't done for a while actually but i used to do quite a lot of cycle frames and things like that and with that you're all over the place you, you're obviously going underneath and you're just moving all over the place and i used to keep hitting that dial and it used to change the the pattern of the fan and it's so annoying because especially if it closes it up you, you normally work with a smaller fan anyway, but if you close it up a bit, it just puts on more material and it gives you a run. And, and on circular tubes or cylindrical tubes of any kind, it, it's a pain to, it's just more of a pain. It just creates more work. So it used to really annoy me, but doing stuff like this, it actually doesn't annoy me so much. And as I say, I keep my thumb away in, in my, my SATA grip. But one of the things you do notice about this is is what I was saying earlier about this being probably one of the most universal mini guns in that you can get a 1.0 tip, 0.8, and have a fairly small fanned, good, reliable gun, or you can go right up to the biggest tip size, use it for primer, 
and you can obviously get different versions of it the downside of course is the price although this thing isn't as expensive in some regions particularly Germany I'm told uh, which is where they're made as, as other regions so it will depend where you are as to how much they are but there's no doubt about it that you will pick up one of these end tools 4000s for much less money than you will the SATA but you know whether it's fair to compare these two I don't know but I thought I would just carry on with the same thing as I did before but you can see that the the 1.2 mini jet is definitely slower because you need to hold the gun up to get that material on so that you can get the flow out and as I said before this is a U-pole clear coat so you do need to put the material on otherwise you just don't get enough on for it to flow so if you are using a better quality clear coat you would be able to move a bit faster than this uh, I was using 2.5 bar on the on this particular setup so 2.3 bar for the 4000B the end tools 4000B and 2.5 bar which is about 36 i think psi on the mini jet no yeah about 36 psi i think it is on the mini jet and it, both of them performed as I, as I said before both of them performed excellent excellently both of them give off quite a little bit of overspray especially the mini jet considering it's a smaller gun and putting out less material the mini jet uses around about a third less air than the end tools and that's the biggest fly in the ointment really of the end tools really for the for the uh amateur with a, a a lower air supply simply because you you can't keep the pressure up if you've got any particular amount to do you know if you've got one panel to do and you've got a reasonable tank size you can fill it out before you start and you, you'll be absolutely fine but if you've got quite a bit more to do you, you're going to have to wait for that compressor to recharge unless you've got a reasonable size compressor but there you'll see the fan size now considering that SATA, that SATA jet is only a 1.2 you can see it's absolutely amazing uh, it doesn't really show that there's less material coming out, but there is. Take it from me, there is. But you can see that this minigun has got one hell of a bite, and it's by far the fiercest minigun of all these. So, you know, price aside, it would make actually a good a good all rounder. I think if you you, you can excuse the uh, the little fan dial with your um, thumb keep hitting it. But as you can see here, I've tried to get as close as possible really good really good finish on both of them this finish is off the gun the end tools is the one on the left and the sartre is the one on the right i think that's right we'll have a look in a minute because i do mark them uh because otherwise you you, uh, you know i don't know but both of them are as good a finish as as either really so you could look at that two ways you could think why do you pay the money for the sata over the end tools uh i would say because it uses less air I would think it's bound to last longer, although the Entels is well made. Yeah, the Sarta is on the right. The uh, Sarta is well made. So I would think that's what that's what you're paying for, really. And you're also paying for the name. You know, they, they do make their stuff expensive. But, yeah, it's probably an unfair comparison, unfair comparison as far as price-wise goes. But I thought it was worth doing the video because it it just carries on the theme where we opened up where i originally made a mistake thinking that uh one was uh a, a, a newer version of the other which clearly isn't as as uh quite a few people pointed out but they did as i say point it out in a nice way um you know the um the internet can be a, quite a, a savage place sometimes uh, and everybody was really, really nice. Either that or YouTube removed the bad ones before I got to them. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching the video. I'll leave you with these uh, last shots. But, you know, both of these, as you can see, as I say, these, um, this is two days, let me check my notes. I think it's two days afterwards. Yeah, two days afterwards. Uh, nothing's been done to these. This is purely to finish off the gun. And you would be happy with e either of these without a problem at all. You do get away with putting on more material because it's warmer weather. A lot of the times I'm battling the cold. Uh, and, it, and that obviously makes it harder uh, to get a good finish. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for watching. Bye-bye.